Are you a popular kid? Are you a good businessman? Are you a good lawyer? Are you a good priest? Are you a good cop? How you live your life every day, if you make it worthwhile or not, or blow it off, it's a choice you make with your brain. Facebook, MySpace, Zanga, LiveJournal, YouTube. Maybe you're worrying about how your pimple will look in high school tomorrow. What kind of life are you having? Hey, what are you doing? Facebook, MySpace, Zanga, LiveJournal. People, good actors, good actors. Most people's lives are an act. Are you a popular kid, good businessman, a lawyer, a good priest, a cop? Check in your Facebook. It's what you choose to do. Some people like to fit in the mold, some people don't. Maybe you're worrying how your pimple will look in high school tomorrow. Uncountable possibilities yet. Think about what you're going to do to do them all right, your job, or you do your homework. Because what else would you do? Well, you know what? The infinite possibilities of each day should stagger the mind. The sheer number of things that you could do, things that could happen to you each day, are they're innumerable, they're complex, breathtaking. I hate to tell you this, but you're pissing your life away. Working as a tow truck dispatcher, watching porn, watching reality television shows, Big Brother, The Mole, American Idols, The Bachelor, Dancing with the Stars, Star Search, Hitting the Clubs. Maybe you're checking your Facebook, MySpace, Zanga, Live Journal, Email, Drugs. Drinking, you're pissing your life away. Check in your MySpace. How do you jolt somebody? How do you jolt yourself into understanding what each moment could become, even having a glimpse of it? I don't know, but I do know one thing. The solution does not, it cannot involve watering down my every little creative impulse and idea. It does not involve for the sake of someday easing your fit into a mold. It does not involve tempering your life into better fitting somebody else's expectations. It does not move constantly holding back for fear of shaking things up. People that say get a life, why don't they get a fucking life? Cause what else would you do? Facebook, MySpace, Zanga, LiveJournal, email, porn, American Idol, drugs, drinking, you're pissing your life away. We live our lives trapped in loops each day is just like the next. There's a set few days that you live over and over again. We're trapped in a scheme, a loop. You see the same things every day, you think the same things every day, you respond the same way every day. Each day is a slight variation of the last day. Every moment, every day, smoothly flowing along the curves of societal norms. We, a we act as if we just get through today, tomorrow our dreams will come back to us and will come true. Do you want to work towards your dream? Nobody is going to be brave for you. Nobody's going to stand up for you. Nobody's going to do it. You gotta do your own dream. You create your own fate. It's a choice you make every day, whether you want to do something good or do something bad or do something important. It's a choice you make with your brain. Do you want to act? Do you want to submit to the mold? Good businessman, lawyer, a good priest, a cop? Do you want to take wrong turns? Do you want to talk to strangers? Are you curious, smart, bored? All you see is a choice between working and slacking off. There are so many adventures that you never take because you're afraid or you can't think of a plan. You are always making up the future as you go. Do not piss your life away. Do not conform to the mold. Institutionalization, conventionalization, religion. There is no one way to live. Live your dream. Be something. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Destroy the loop. Break out from the scheme. Save yourself. Fight back. You only live one. Live it. Nobody else is going to do it for you. And if you say, I don't want to do anything important, I want to waste my life, I'm too lazy, I'm going to be dead in 50 years and it won't matter. If you don't give a shit about the content of your life, you don't deserve a life.